The Savoia Marchetti SM79 Sparviero, or Sparrowhawk, was without doubt Italy's best medium bomber during the Second World War. Hey guys, time for another video build. I have been on aircraft hiatus for a little bit. I've been kind of dabbling in some automotive stuff, um, which I'll have some videos on soon. I wanted to build a one for well, I would love to build a 132nd FM79, but um, ain't gonna happen. Uh, no, no mainstream kits, anyways. I don't know if there's some vac form or something weird, but not my thing. And I am not building the trumpeter kit either. Um, it's okay. Um, looking at it, it's okay. It just has uh, some shape issues. It's got uh, some panel line issues. Um, it's got weird kind of like the engines and the nacelles are a little bit bigger than they should be. Profiles a little bit off. Normally things that I wouldn't care about. Um, except that there is kits that are more accurate. And because I have it, when I compare it, I notice it. If I saw this on a bench or a table, mm, probably wouldn't notice it. But anywho, I'm building the classic airframes, um, and I'm going to build it as, this is a sill slash is, um, subtle differences between the two, uh, flash suppressors on the guns on one, one has the gondola underneath and one doesn't. Uh, there's probably a couple other things, small things, but uh, I am building the sill. Oh, one has um, open hub on the prop and one doesn't. But yeah, here is the kit. Here is the uh, instructions. Comes with some resin, some photo etch. Um, this is my first classic airframes. I like uh, these type of kits like I've done some PCMs um, some other stuff this is kind of my thing I like the challenge of doing some bodywork stuff uh, fitment stuff I find um, and I shouldn't say that because your opinion is always going to change you're going to get sick of stuff or whatever uh, I thought I was about to say I find Tamiya type of things boring because I like the construction aspect as much as everything else, but um, that's not necessarily true. It's kind of a generalized statement. Uh, there's another difference between the sill and the biz is um, the exhaust. I actually think they look cooler, but whatever. We'll do that one. Um, it um, it's not too bad in construction. Um, I have a couple different versions of this. So I've got, uh, I can test fit and check panel lines and stuff here. Um, here's the other boxing I have. You can tell it's that boxing, the Spanish Civil War one, which is kind of a cool scheme. But uh, I want to do a torpedo bomber. Um, yeah, we'll take a look at it for reference. Um, this book is excellent. Um, has some good pictures of all the different variants. The civil versions of these are actually quite nice too. It'd be cool to uh, to make one. But yeah, there's lots of cool reference pictures in here. Um, getting into the war variants now. There's profiles in here. Somewhere, um, and for me, this was fantastic because it's got line drawings. Um, so, for rescribing, which there is some to do on this kit, um, you have something to go off. Now, this is where you notice the trumpeter, the panel lines are off. Not doesn't really include a lot of stuff. Um, Classic airframes one is pretty pretty spot on actually. Um, 
here's some of the profiles. There's a lot of different paint schemes, and I like Italian paint schemes. They're pretty badass. Um, you can go with the splotchy one or the lines, or there's cool ones, anyways. Um, I also have kind of a rare resin kit, and it is very close to classic air frames too, or much more so than the Trumpeter offering, anyways. Um, one of the disappointing aspects of the classic airframes is the engine detail is a little meh. Now, I pondered sanding this down to take the block, not just the casting block, but this backer off of it too. But I think what I'm going to do is use the trumpeter engines, which are too big. Um, I thought I had one assembled. Oh, I do right here. Which are too big. Um, in the cowling of the... And here's the size difference in cowling between the trumpeter and the classic airframes. Like, it's quite noticeable. Um, but if we jam this trumpeter engine in here... Of course, I've knocked the hub off. It's not too bad. I can't put the cylinder heads on them because it's too big. You don't really see the cylinder heads, so... A lot of people obsess over this shit, and I get it. But at the same time, I am sick of having one completion a year because I'm obsessing over things that you don't see in the end. Um, it'll work out. Anyways, you get my drift of what uh, is going on there. Um, here is one of my other kits, um, this is the fit, it's not bad, no location, pins or anything, um, but overall, like, there's a bit of body work to do, um, but it's not too bad. Some filling in there. Um, other than that, the top, I think I did, I think I had a step in the end by the time I got it lined up, so there's a little bit of filler in here. And the wing roots were not horrible, but not great. They kind of ended up in there somewhere. Um, I did some, some sanding and whatnot. Now it's kind of here is kind of like a short shot issue type of deal. Um, I just CA'd it and sanded it to the point where I've got it in primer. I've just fixed some of my some of my spots. Um, I rescribed. My rescribing's done, and I had a couple of boo-boos where I ran with it. Uh, of course my last one I uh, I don't know if I saw a dog or what but it just got distracted and described it across the whole wing but yeah it turned out not too bad. Um, it was ch the clear parts are, and that is a weakness of mine I'll admit. Pretty much every kit I have I end up fogging Marking, scratching, the last car I did, I ran my friggin' knife right across the back of the windshield. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I am cursed when it comes to clear parts. But, anywho, um, that's where we're at. She's rescribed. I'm going to prime this again. My final primer coat. And if I can find it... This has been a, a game changer for me. I love the spray bomb uh, primers. They're expensive as hell here in Canada. Like I think this is 16 bucks, and so wasteful. Like you see, big swaths of paint going into my booth, but um, they're handy to keep as a holder when you're done for stuff. You can tack it or sticky tape it to it and use it as a handle. But speed-wise, it's great. You just whoosh, and you're done in like two seconds. Um, versus the airbrush. Um, but yeah, pretty much um, ready for another primer coat to check everything. And I think we're good. So we'll be getting into paint very soon. 
Um, I've knocked something in. You can't really hear it. I've knocked a piece off in the cockpit I saw. So I'll have to get it glued back on. Um, the cockpit's all resin, so it's uh, fragile. It is fragile. Let's see the parts here. Um, here's some of the resin stuff that comes with it. This is what I have left after having it closed up. So there's a lot of resin. And there'll be some left over when we're done, of course, for the other options. But uh, the other variant type of thing. But yeah, that's uh, kind of where we're at with that one. Um, I also have an Alpha Flight, which I would think is probably fairly rare torpedo instead of the classic airframes one is it worth it mm, i don't know but we will see once uh we get it together maybe i'll build both and i'll see i don't know this is cool because it won't have a seam on it it's one piece so that in itself uh makes me a bit happy um I think the variant I am going to paint it at is, let me set this aside, let me see, it might not be this exact one, but should have had this prepared. So I'm not uh, carrying on here. Well, I think it would be this one. Um, I like that weathering reference. That's cool. Yeah, it doesn't have it in a profile. It is gray on the front, and then it has this camel kind of from here back. Um, yeah, I can't find it now, but i um, going to do that one anyhow, weather it quite a bit, and um, 48th is interesting because it's gone fairly quick, um, I'm used to 32nd, I do not, I've said this before, I do not care for the smallness of the 48th, I lose interest in the cockpit details and stuff because they're so small. But uh, one kind of weak area was this tail wheel. I think I can get it back on without too many issues. And a gripe of mine on all kits I've noticed, in, like I said, I suck at it, so that's probably why it bugs me so much, is clear parts. I don't know why they don't make them fit better. I don't know why they don't engineer them in a fashion where you're not gluing against vital glass parts like you can easily carry it on down into the fuselage and to a seam uh, mask and paint but yeah it is what it is um yeah so i'm gonna get this primed up and do another video of paint and maybe um I will try and do like um, more of a tutorial type video even though I don't really do build videos. So yeah, cool subject. Um, probably going to do a run of Italian bombers because I really like them. They have some really neat ones and I have a bunch in the stash. Unfortunately they're 48th but whatever. Um, yeah, so. We'll get this edited up and on the YouTubes and we'll uh, talk soon.